Hey all, TJB Chris, real quick. Uh, the eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed in my videos this uh, set of gauges from a car just kind of sitting here doing things. Um, but what? This is a gauge cluster, or as Subaru calls it, a combination meter assembly from a you know, fifth generation Subaru Legacy, 2015, 16, whatever. And uh, I have a couple of these floating around. I've used them for other projects. I created a dashboard for uh, a Hadoop cluster at a previous employer based on management's insistence that they have dashboards because every management person in corporate America wants, you know, dashboards so they can see at a glance with pretty colors and no real detail. Well, I thought oh, I'll give you a dashboard. So I reverse engineered the data stream integrated it with the management tool of the particular Hadoop distribution we were using at the time, Hortonworks HDP, and uh, yeah, used it as instrumentation. So that was a fun project. It was in my pre-YouTube days, so um, yeah, there's some pictures floating by your screen, but it was pretty popular. Vendors liked it. Um, one actually said that she was going to try and get her guys to reproduce it. I never heard that she did. So I was like, this is more work than you think. But anyway, because this the, the CAN bus stream is not documented for these. Um, there's a little bit on my GitHub if you go check out my PWI site project for the collision avoidance for the children's ride-on toy, you know, like a Power Wheels light car. I used a set for that. Um, that I used an iSight enabled display one to reuse the iSight displays. Um, and I have pretty good command of these. And actually the original Hadoop gauges were an older uh, cluster, an old, older combination meter assembly. Anyway, what the hell am I doing with this one and why? Well, now that I've got a couple of these floating around, it got me to wondering. I finally figured out how to get the damn odometer to click on these newer combination meters. On the older one, it was pretty easy. There was a wire that you could pulse for speedometer readings, and it would also tick the odometer along. But on these, it's on the CAN bus, and so I had to figure out how to tick the odometer. And it's pretty particular, actually. The interesting thing is, and I can demonstrate this at some point if anybody would like, the reading on the speedometer has absolutely nothing to do with the rate that the odometer clicks, other than if it's less than about one or two miles an hour, the odometer won't click no matter what you do. But if I set the speedometer to anything above about two miles an hour, three miles an hour, and less than 160, then I can feed the odometer whatever set of pulses I like. And if you're really paying attention, you'll notice that the trip odometer's tenth digit is counting up faster than it would at about 72 miles an hour as indicated on the speedometer. And that's because it's actually rolling up at about 120 miles an hour or so. It, it runs about a mile every 30 to 40 seconds. So it, this has been counting since last summer. And my plan here is to see what happens to this odometer when it gets to 999, 999. <laughs> Why do I care? This is a really dork exercise. Why would you do this? Well, because some odometers never make it that far. Uh, Ford was famous for having their built Ford tough F whatever trucks, you know, F that, uh, top out at 399,999 miles. They would pretty famously roll back to 300,000 miles. And this was just Ford being cheap. I don't even know. The, the odometer may have had the segment. It may have been a back end compute issue. I don't, I don't remember. Either way, this was fairly well documented. Other odometers have, you know, capped out at weird values. And so the question I have is, what's going to happen to this when it gets to 999, 999? Will it stop? Just stop counting up? Will it, in the style of Super Mario Brothers on the NES, add the 1? Will it roll back to 0? That seems unlikely. What's going to happen? Well, now I've been running this again since about last August or so, pretty cont continuously. Uh, in the box there is a underneath the gauges is a Raspberry Pi, which is feeding it a constant CAN bus data stream to give it the odometer ticks and just keep all the lights off and the gauges counting. So once this gets to 999, 990 something toward the end, I'm going to stop it and we'll watch it uh, together on camera because nothing is more interesting, folks, than watching odometers roll. So this is one of my non-Tandy projects. I actually do a lot of non-Tandy Radio Shack. Uh, electronics crap in this room. I don't really share it here other than the uh, eyesight 
the collision avoidance thing for the children's ride on car, which got absolutely zero traction and told me that it was a waste of time to share that crap. So I'm sharing this because it's been in the background and I've had a couple of people comment on it, but that's pretty much it. Okay, so we'll see you in about 96,000 miles plus about 633. Okay, bye.